and Dawson Rider review. Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Rider here with my review of the Alien Swarm movie set from Ben 10 and Alien Swarm the movie. Um, I decided to go over the packaging first and then open the figures in the review, borrowing an idea from Shukin Shinobi. I'm not trying to copy you, but I'm just going to do this for this review, not for figure arts or anything. But I hadn't opened this yet, and I hadn't planned on opening it, but a rearrange has forced me to. So, um, pretty nice packaging. It says Aliens for Movie Set here, obviously, and there's some silhouettes of the aliens. And then here it says based on live action movie, and it shows there's a sticker. You get a Benton Alien Swarm sticker. Um, on the side, it just has a continuation of the silhouettes and the package design. Then on the back, shows the three figures you get. Alien Queen, the main villain from uh, Alien Swarm. Uh, Validus, also one of the main villains. And Nanomech, the um, Alien Swarm exclusive uh, alien who might appear in Ultimate Alien. And also an advertisement for the... Um, the Omnitrix Illuminator from Alien Swarm, which I have never seen in stores before, but it shows how it works. On the top, it's just clear, and on the bottom, it just says Ben 10 Alien Swarm. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Yep. So let's get this guy open. There's a tape here, I believe. Okay, I think that's the only place there's tape. Okay, let's set the box aside. So, let me get this out first. Here's the sticker you get. It's kind of glossy and shiny. It's kind of nice. They included it. Probably put it somewhere. Um, let's go over the queen first. Well, let me get them all out of package first. And then I can uh, go over them. And of course, Validus' hat comes separately. Kind of bitch to get out. There we go. And okay, so let me set the packaging aside. So let's go over the queen first. Um, a pretty nice figure. It's done in a kind of goldish um, bronze color, which is really nice. It actually shows up a lot better on camera. It looks a lot shinier on camera than it does here. Um, its articulation head can go around like this, 360 can move up and down and, and on the side here. Um, its legs look like they can go like this. Um, these can't move, these can't move it looks like. Okay, so it looks like the articulation is only for these. They can swing all the way around here and then these here, like this. And its stinger can swing around 360 um, at two places. I'm not sure how they want you to stand this guy. Um, yeah, I don't know how they expect you to stand them. I guess if you put the figure like this. Um, Detail-wise, it's pretty good. Like I said, it's done in a nice bronze gold color. There's some good orange and black detailings here, and the neck is done very well also, which is nice. Um, probably my least favorites. Um, I just don't care for the figure and, and the character design overall, but it's still nice that we have another villain figure. And, okay, there we go. I got it to stand. So let's go over Victor Validus. He's in a trench coat. Um, it looks pretty blocky. The trench coat actually looks pretty good, and they also gave a way of moving the legs. Um, his face looks pretty nice and actually pretty movie accurate. Um, I can't really show it up close because this camera focus, but it even has some uh, 5 o'clock shadow. Uh, Articulation-wise, arms go 360, and his uh, arms bend. His head can move side to side. It can go 360 if it wasn't hindered by his coat. And his legs can go up and down, and not with back very much hardly. Um, and it looks kind of weird with all this blocky crap in the middle. And he comes with his hat, which is right here, which isn't bad looking. And I have no idea how they want you to get it on there, actually. It's actually really difficult to get on there. They give you a really small hole. So I guess you just kind of have to put it like that. It looks kind of silly. I wish they would have just attached the hat. I wouldn't have minded if they would have just left it on there. And here's the main event, Nanomech, the movie exclusive alien, who looks really, really cool. I really like this guy a lot. Um, he's got this really nice metallic look to him. Um, not so shiny, but it's very metallic uh, looking, especially on camera. The camera's making it look better than it does right now when I'm looking at it. Um, there's some nice little um, technological details all around him. Um, and here, too, you can see like, kind of the wire area. Um, the Omnitrix symbol right here looks nice, as always. These green things. The back, he's got clear wings. 
Um, they can't move. They're just kind of done in a rubbery plastic. But they look nice. And his face also looks, whoops, excuse me, his looks very nice. Some good detail. Articulation-wise, looks like his arms can move kind of this way, rotate. They're kind of hindered by his shoulder pads. They bend here. Um, his legs can go all the way forward, a little bit back, and they can bend. So standard uh, alien collection articulation. Overall, this guy's the best of the set. He's really, really awesome. Um, I really like him a lot. He looks really cool. So overall, the Alien Swarm set is an okay buy. If you're a fan of the movie and you want more villain figures, I can recommend it. $15 is a pretty good price, considering you essentially get three Alien Collection figures. Um, you can buy him individually now. He just came out with a wave. So if you're only interested in him, I recommend just picking up him and you get his exclusive Alien card. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I would just recommend getting him if you just want him with his Alien card. Um, it's nice that they gave us some villains. Um, they're both overall okay figures. I'm glad I have them for more villains from the Ben 10 universe, but um, I could do without them and just get this. But when I got this set, I didn't know they were going to be releasing him individually, and he might appear in Ultimate Alien. So overall, as a set, I give it a 6 out of 10. I give the Queen a 5, um, Validus a 5, and him a 9. He's really cool. So um, that's about it for this review. Um, just some updates about the Ben 10 side of my reviews. Um, there will be some new stuff coming out fairly soon. Um, I don't remember exactly what's hitting stores um, in the near future, but I will be picking up most of the new releases. I know there's going to be Wrath and Lodestar. I'm not sure when. Um, Soccer Ben, Max, and Gwen. I'll be reviewing all those. And Ben 10 Ultimate Alien is launching in April, I believe. I'm pretty excited about that. I will be reviewing most of the Alien Collection and the new Ultimate Tricks, so I'm pretty excited about that. So look forward to that in the future of Ben 10 Reviews. But so overall, pick up this set only if you're an a Alien Swarm fan. Otherwise, just get this guy um, as individual. So until my next Ben 10 Review, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.